I've put the queen into the one-handed queen catcher. Um, and this tool is ideal for somebody that just needs to clip and mark the queen. So I'm getting the marker out there now and um, I'm going to put a blue dot on her back. Now always check to make sure that your marker is working properly like I did over there. Otherwise you'll get a blue blob on top of the queen. So you just need to make sure that she's in position inside in the queen catcher. Now my one is a bit worn out because it's being used a lot. Um, but the new ones would be a lot more solid and they'd jam her in a bit more. So she's simply got a blue dot now on her back. Put away the marker. And I'll take the spring operated scissors. I'll push up the bottom of the queen catcher and she'll back up into the um, slots. And once her wing sticks up then I can take about a third off one wing. Job done. Now all I need to do is release her back onto the frame that she came off of and I'll just turn, there she is, with her dot on her back. I'm just going to turn it back up, upside down, open the bottom section of it and push down the plunger and she will come away down onto the frame that I found her on and she'll disappear into the hive with the rest of the bees. So there she goes. Blue dot walking around the place and into the box. That's my queen clipped and marked in that colony and that colony now needs a